Configuring and testing the T32TS version 1. Entering the installer setup menu. Touch and hold both the clock and mode sections for 5 seconds. To advance through the menu, touch the next section. To back up in the menu, touch the back section of the screen. To exit the menu and save changes at any time, touch and hold the mode section until the display shows normal operation. The first menu, 1PR, selects programmable or non-programmable operation. Press the up or down arrows to change the selection. The factory default is 4 for 4 schedules per day. 2 is for 2 schedules per day, day, night. 0 is for manual mode, non-programmable. If menu 1PR is set to 2 or 4, menu 2PD is used to select 5 plus 2 day programming or 7 day programming. Touch the up or down arrows to change the selection. The factory default is 7. 5 1 is for 5 plus 1 plus 1. Same schedule Monday through Friday and separate schedules for Saturday and Sunday. 5 2 is for 5 plus 2. Same schedule Monday through Friday and Saturday through Sunday. 7 equals 7 day programming. Individual programming for each day of the week. Menu 3TH provides temporary program override. When off, a change in set point will remain until the next scheduled event or a fixed override can be set from 1 to 12 hours in 1 hour increments. Use the up or down arrows to select the override time. The factory default is off. Menu 4PF is the program full fan option which allows selecting continuous or auto fan operation for each program event. The factory default is off. Use the up and down arrows to select a programmable fan option. Off, no programmable fan. On, programmable fan operation. Refer to the user manual for selecting continuous or auto fan for each scheduled event when the programmable fan option is on. Menu 5FN selects the mode of operation. The factory default is A for auto changeover. Touch the up and down arrows to change the selection. Minus manual changeover. A, auto changeover, heat, cool, auto, off. H, heat, off. C, cool, off. A, O, auto, off. Note, in manual changeover configuration, the heating and cooling set points can be the same. Menu 6LC allows you to prevent changes to all or part of the touchscreen functions. The factory default is off. Touch the up or down arrows to change the selection. Off, all functions unlocked. 1. Program locked. 2. Mode locked. 3. Fan locked. 4. Up, down, arrows locked. 5. Clock locked. 6. Fan, mode locked. 7. Fan, program, mode locked. 8. Fan, program, mode, clock locked. 9. All functions locked. Menu 7CL selects the minimum cooling set point. The factory default is 50. Touch the up or down arrows to adjust the limit from 43 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Menu 8HL selects the maximum heating set point. The factory default is 90. Touch the up or down arrows to adjust the limit from 41 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Menu 9TD selects the temperature to be displayed in Fahrenheit or Celsius. The factory default is F for Fahrenheit. Touch the up or down arrows to change the display setting. F Fahrenheit. C Celsius. Menu 10CL selects the time format which can be 12 hour or 24 hour. The factory default is 12. Touch the up or down arrows to change the format. 
12, 12 hour, 24, 24 hour or military time. Menu 11 ST allows the option of continuously displaying the set point temperature with the space temperature or only the set point temperature. The factory default is on, set point displayed. Touch the up or down arrows to change the display option. On, set point displayed. Off, no set point displayed. Menu 12BL allows you to select the backlight option. The factory default is on. Touch the up or down arrows to change the display option. Off, no backlight. All, backlight on high for 10 seconds when screen is touched and then low continuously. Thermostat must be hardwired to 24 VAC for this option. Menu 13RC allows you to select the adaptive recovery option when the thermostat is configured as programmable. Adaptive recovery compares the space temperature deviation from the set point and rate of recovery history to bring the equipment on and reach the set point at the scheduled time. The factory default is off. Touch the up or down arrows to select this option. Menu 14 FT allows you to select a time when the thermostat will display FLT as a reminder that the HVA system filter or filters should be replaced. The factory default is off. Touch the up or down arrows to set the filter reminder. Off, no filter reminder. 010, 100 hours. 100, 1000 hours. Up to 9000 hours in 100 hour steps. Menu 15 S1 is used to adjust the heating and cooling differential. This represents the temperature above the cooling set point or below the heating set point when the equipment is energized. The factory default is 2 degrees Fahrenheit. Touch the up or down arrows to change the differential. 1, 1 degree Fahrenheit differential. 3, 3 degree Fahrenheit differential. Menu 16S2 is used to adjust the second stage heating and cooling differential. This represents the temperature above the first stage cooling differential or below the first stage heating differential when second stage is energized. There is a three minute delay before second stage is energized. The factory default is two degrees Fahrenheit. Touch the up or down arrows to change the differential. The second stage differential is adjustable from 1 degree to 10 degrees Fahrenheit in 1 degree increments. Menu 17 S3 is used to adjust the third stage heating differential. This represents the temperature below the second stage heating differential when third stage heat is energized. There is a three minute time delay before third stage heat is energized. The factory default is 2 degrees Fahrenheit. Touch the up or down arrows to change the differential. The differential is adjustable from 1 to 10 degrees in 1 degree increments. Menu 18CA is used to recalibrate the thermostat internal sensor when 19TT equals off or a single remote indoor sensor when 19TT equals RS. Touch the up or down arrows to adjust calibration. Off, internal sensor only. RS, indoor remote sensor only. AU, internal sensor with indoor remote sensor. Menu 20R4 is used to select the specific equipment configuration. The factory default is 1S for heat cool and H2 for heat pump and fossil fuel. Touch the up or down arrows to select the proper equipment configuration. 1S, heat cool. 2S, multi-stage. Off, one heat, one cool heat pump. H2, two heat, one cool heat pump or fossil fuel. Menu 21LB allows you to select a low balance point setting when the thermostat is configured for heat pump or fossil fuel. When the outdoor temperature falls below the balance point setting, 
the compressor is locked out and only auxiliary heat or fossil fuel is used for heating. The factory default is off. The low balance point is adjustable from off 1 degree to 77 degrees Fahrenheit by touching the up or down arrows. A remote outdoor sensor must be installed. Menu 22 HB allows you to select the high balance point setting when the thermostat is configured for heat pump or fossil fuel. When the temperature rises above the balance point setting, the auxiliary electric heat or fossil fuel furnace is locked out and only the heat pump is used for heating. The factory default is off. The high balance point is adjustable off 32 degrees to 122 degrees Fahrenheit by touching the up or down arrows. A remote outdoor sensor must be installed. Menu 23 BP allows you to turn the audible beep on or off. The factory default is on. Touch the up or down arrows to change the setting. Menu 24 RS can be used to reset the thermostat to the original factory defaults. The factory default for this setting is off. To reset the thermostat, touch the up or down arrows and set to on. Menu 25DS is used to enable daylight savings time for the real-time clock. The factory default is on. To disable this option, touch the up or down arrows and set to off. The T32TS incorporates a short cycle timer which can be disabled for testing by sliding switch 3 to the on position. Once testing is completed, the short cycle timer should be enabled by setting switch 3 to off. Touch the mode until the word off is displayed. Touch the fan until the words always on are displayed. After a brief moment, the internal fan relay G will energize and the system fan should operate. Touch fan again until the word automatic is displayed. After a brief moment, the internal fan relay will de-energize and the system fan will shut off. Touch mode until the word heat appears. Touch the up arrow and raise the set point above the space temperature and the first stage differential. After a brief moment, the internal heating relay W will energize and the heating system should operate. The word heat will flash continuously. If the thermostat has been configured for two-stage heating, raise the set point above the second stage differential. The second stage heating relay W2 will energize. The word heat will flash twice, pause and repeat the sequence to indicate second stage has been energized. Touch the word mode until the word cool appears. Touch the down arrow and lower the set point below the space temperature and the first stage cooling differential. After a brief moment, the internal cooling relay Y will energize and the cooling system should operate. The word cool will flash continuously. If the thermostat has been configured for two stage cooling, Lower the set point below the second stage cooling differential and the second stage cooling relay Y2 will energize. The word cool will flash twice, pause and repeat the sequence to indicate second stage has been energized. When the T32TS has been configured for conventional heat pump operation, testing is the same as a heating and cooling system with the exception that the G relay is always energized with compressor, auxiliary and emergency heat calls. When the T32TS has been configured for fossil fuel operation, testing is the same as a conventional heat pump system with the exception that the heat pump is never allowed to run when the fossil fuel furnace is energized. Whenever the thermostat calls for auxiliary heat, the compressor Y1 and or Y2 relays are de-energized along with the fan G relay. The W1 relay will energize the fossil fuel furnace. With the installation of an outdoor sensor, both high and or low balance point control can be used to prioritize heat pump and fossil fuel operation based on a selected outdoor temperature. Installer's option 21LB allows you to select a low balance point temperature. 
When the outdoor temperature falls below the low balance point setting, the Y1 and or Y2 compressor relays will be bypassed. After testing, reset the low balance point temperature to a normal operating range. High balance point is designed to prevent the W1 auxiliary heat relay from energizing when the outdoor temperature is above the balance point setting. To test the high balance point, set 22 HB in the installer options menu below the displayed outdoor temperature. Then force a call for heating by adjusting the thermostat set point above the first stage and or second stage heating differential. The Y1 and or Y2 compressor relays will be energized and the W1 auxiliary heat relay will be bypassed. After testing, reset the high balance point temperature to a normal operating range. Adaptive recovery is only available in programmable mode. Installer option menu 13RC equals on. The adaptive recovery function of the T32TS permits the user to program a time that a desired set temperature is required. The thermostat then calculates the most energy efficient time to energize the equipment to reach the desired temperature at the designated time. The calculation involves a complex control algorithm that compares the space temperature deviation from the set point and rate of recovery history. Basic troubleshooting, no LCD display. If thermostat is battery powered only, remove battery compartment and check to see that the positive and negative ends of each battery are oriented properly. If the thermostat is hardwired, remove the thermostat from the subbase and check for 24 volts across terminal C and R. If no voltage, fault could be with equipment or wiring related. Thermostat cannot be set for auto changeover. In the installer options menu, set 5FN to A or AO for auto changeover. Minus manual changeover, A heat cool auto off, H heat off, C cool off, AO auto off. Temperature display is inaccurate. Air from wall cavity may be leaking into the rear of the thermostat. Seal the hole where the wires into the subbase. Move lamps or other sources of heat away from the thermostat. Thermostat will not display outdoor temperature. No outdoor temperature sensor installed. Check wiring at outdoor sensor and sensor terminals on thermostat subbase. Outdoor sensor wires to terminals S2 and SC. Heat or cool is flashing. This is not default but indicates that the thermostat heating or cooling relay is energized. Lock icon is displayed when attempting to set a higher or lower set point. This is not a fault. The thermostat heating and cooling limits may be preventing setting a temperature above or below the limit values. These values can be changed in the installer options menu. 7CL cooling, 8HL heating. Touch screen lock option, 6LC may be set to 4, which prevents set point changes. Thermostat displays wrong temperature. The T32TS can be configured to display temperature in either Fahrenheit or Celsius. Check installer option menu, 9TD, F equals Fahrenheit and C equals Celsius. The fan continues to run after a heating or cooling call is satisfied. The thermostat fan mode may be set to always on. Touch the fan icon and change it to automatic. When the T32TS is configured for programmable operation, fan operation can be programmed for automatic or always on for any scheduled event. The programmable fan feature is not required. Set 4PF in the installer option menu to off. Some functions on the thermostat cannot be changed and a padlock icon is displayed. Lock values have been set. Refer to 6CL in the installer option menu. To remove all lock values, set 6CL to off. For installation instructions, view T32TS version 1 installation training video. For remote sensor installation instructions, view T32TS version 1 remote sensor installation training video. For technical support, call us 888-652-9663.